good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel thank you for all your likes and subscribes let's talk about mars today esoteric meaning of mars now mars pay close attention to this because once you understand the esoteric meaning of mars and what it represents in our life you will understand words like drive aggression passion anger frustration feeling the need to have power to empower to have power over others all these kinds of things that we are and how we have created an entire civilization and how we live as humans on earth through all the civilizations in the past really you will begin to appreciate this about mars and why mars is so strong on planet earth and how we are driven unconsciously towards that So the idea of presenting this for my me personally is well you have this stuff going on you have a mars going on in your chart doesn't matter where it is where you are which culture civilization it doesn't matter we all have it the first point is that one way or the other one form or the other exalted debilitated blah 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 but unless we make a conscious choice and this we consciously understand where mars is in our chart and how we plan to temper it how we plan to work with it how we plan to use it selectively only in cases where required and not like having an engine running on all the time then it will help us only if there is some degree of consciousness can this mars be tempered and we shall see why there are just three slides so bear with me here but you need to get this really get the mars energy in the civilization and why it is so and why it works and you might see me producing a number of derogatory or negative connotations most of them are populistic everything that i know i have learned from this world just like you so we need to understand the root basis of mars and how esoterically in astrology in vedic astrology it plays out and how we can temper this consciousness is needed folks otherwise you will just be acting out your chart what is the purpose of me doing this channel and everything that i'm bringing consciousness the root of it is consciousness be conscious about what you're doing be aware of what you're doing be aware of all these deeper esoteric aspects that's the whole objective because unless we bring some degree of awareness consciousness whatever you want to call it a deeper sense of understanding to a subject we'll just be floundering around with at the basic level of things we are not graduating upwards we are not moving upwards in wisdom yeah so keep watching we will take the first line now so there we have it deeper esoteric meaning of mars now mars let's understand from the symbol perspective number 1 mars has no crescent or cross now if you have been through my previous two videos on saturn and mercury and uh, jupiter you will understand the symbology of crescent and cross right but mars if you can see there on the symbol it has nothing it's just a circle which represents your soul and it has an arrow going forward arrow going outward let us understand just the symbol here that's how you understand deeper esoterics mars has no crescent or cross just the soul which is a circle with an arrow symbolizing what it symbolizes drive it symbolizes forward thrust it symbolizes movement it is the energy of the soul which wants to move and accomplish something in whichever house it is falling in your chart in your vedic birth chart yeah number 2 this is more important to understand for all you esoteric minded this also means that mars because it is absent of crescent or cross in and of itself mars has no sense of receptivity mars is just thinking think of it as an energy going forward it is not receiving anything it is not a receptacle of anything it is just an energy raw form which wants to move forward okay 
it has no receptivity or learning mars doesn't really learn anything it keeps on just going forward okay so it is the sense of a raw drive or power or fire to accomplish things in the world nevertheless mars is crucial to evaluate the sense of drive what you might have as drive what you might have as ambition what you might have as passion it is crucial to evaluate this because this is the energy that gets us to move things in the world to go out there get up from the chair go out there take action walk walk the talk either in talking in walking in getting things done moving things around that's the mars energy okay and this tells us a deeper aspect of mars itself this point number 1 and 2 okay what does this tell us well <clears throat> no receptivity mars doesn't feel anything mars just wants to go out there and do things this is what is popularly classified in mars as anger as aggression think about it for anger and aggression for a minute mars energy why does mars tend to become angry or translate an emotion into anger it's think of it as mars as raw power like raw fire okay it just is combustion energy it wants to combust itself and go and convert it to some form of work when does mars feel aggression when does mars become angry or frustrated when there is something standing in the way i want to go there and accomplish something i want to get some tasks done for example i want to go there and become a great leader or i want to go and today to the office and get this work done or i want to go and have better marketing and get my products out there on youtube or on the internet wherever whatever you you have some tasks in front of you and now you want to go out there and get that stuff done whatever mars faces in this path so to speak you will have aggression towards meaning if you have people who are not cooperating with you people who are slower than you are people who are not agreeing with you in some form or the other people who are enemical to you now what is an enemy in this sense who does mars perceive as enemy we got to understand the deeper esoterics folks mars perceives as an enemy anybody who is standing in the way like mars does not like a blockage mars does not like standing anything in the way it will push through it it will cut through it it will want to remove it out of the path this is what mars is best at it just wants to keep going like the newton's first law you know body wants to remain in the state of rest or uniform motion uniform motion is mars it wants to keep going let nobody stand in my way is the call of mars okay if nobody is standing in the way of whatever you want to get it done or wherever mars is in your chart then there is no aggression mars is just keeps going it just wants to keep going 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 and going that's the energy of mars it is just pure fire wanting to move forward okay so if you are having any kind of frustration any kind of anger any kind of issue that you are dealing with constantly think mars if you are kind of having anger or frustration anger when it is internalized it becomes a lot of frustration like you are trying to get stuff done but it is simply not working for any number of reasons people resources finances situations in your life wherever you are so mars wants to go there and it will keep getting frustrated and portrays anger forward into the world simply because it is unable to move forward mars requires forward movement in your life okay Now let's see from the Vedic astrology chart perspective. You have the twelve houses, one to twelve. You have the Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha repeated three times, one to four, five to eight, nine to twelve. This is the standard one. We have dealt that in all the previous videos, right? Now we have the symbol of Mars. Which houses does Mars do well, and why? Let us understand that. Mars does very well in the first house. First house is your body, your head, your personality, your physical personality because mars is all about physical stuff and mars helps if mars is in the first house it will take this drive and ambition and this passion to all areas of life whatever is in the first house you will take invariably to all areas of life period that simple so mars in the first house does well mars in the third house does well 
What is the third house representing? Skills. Hands. Your hands is Mars in the third house. So skill with the hands or like sporting activities, people who are skilled sportsmen. Third house is also the house of competition. Guess what you need in competition? Somebody is trying to get the better of you. You want to come to a number one position. Your team wants to win in a sporting activity, right? And there is an opposing team. So Mars functions best when there is an opposition. So when in the third house, it will become highly competitive, highly physically oriented, highly skilled in terms of sporting activities, right? Because Mars wants to physically go and engage there. It's like classified in Vedic astrology as the soldier, okay? The soldier wants to go out and do their and do things with aggression. But if you understand it from an esoteric point of view, it is more of a drive and physical drive, okay? Mars does well in the sixth house. What does the sixth house stand for? Among other things, it stands for your digestion, your intestines. If things move in a nice smooth way in your intestines, your digestion will be perfect. So will your health be. So Mars does well there. In terms of um, energy, the sixth house stands for debts, having loans and stuff like that, having hidden enemies. And it also stands for your daily routine. Yes. What does well in all these three areas? Mars does very well in this area. You can bring your aggression and your drive to accomplish things in your daily tasks and routines. Let it be your office, your business, whatever area you're working in. In fact, if it's sixth house combined with certain aspects, it can make a person a surgeon who wants to cut. Mars wants to cut stuff to get through things. Mars wants to translate forward movement in the form of physical action. Okay. If it's in the second house, it becomes a very cutting speech, very harsh speech. So it's, it's not a very good place for Mars to hang around with. People can become rude and cruel for no reason. They're very judgmental kind of people. Mars does well in the 10th house. 10th house is of karma, whatever you're working in your career, your profession, your job. So Mars can become very good in the 10th house because you're bringing your drive and you become a very action oriented, very choleric type of a personality who wants to always be on the move and get stuff done. This is required in the main line of work. You can't just go to work wherever you're doing and sit passive, right? You need to be active. That drive of fiery active energy is provided by Mars in the 10th house. So it does very well in the 10th house. Now let's briefly examine the chakra level, but it is more of blood. Mars is represented in Vedic astrology as the blood. Something that is constantly moving and fueling all other parts of your body. Just let's finish up with the chakra level. So there you can see the chakra level of things. It's represented as second house, but actually it's also the first house, your face, your head. So if Mars is there, it governs your expression, your sight, your voice, speech, singing, your senses. Your, if Mars is in the first house, you become a very alert kind of a person. You're alert to all the senses because most of the senses are located in the head, right? All the five senses. If Mars is in the third house, it becomes deliberate actions. Like we said, competition. This, this person can become highly competitive in whatever area mainly translating to physical terms translate mass to physical not so much as mental yeah deliberate action motivation interest they might become very good at learning different skills physical hand skills musical instruments even if there is a certain combination of venus and mars and by the way mars will provide energy to any planet it is sitting along with if it's conjunct any planet think that Mars or drive will be in that kind of a planetary energy. Okay? This is the way you translate it. Sixth house, of course, I haven't shown there because there's no specific chakra for it. But sixth house stands for, like I said, daily work, daily routines, your tasks, your jobs, your chores in life. It may be even mainstream in your career, which is the 10th house, career, work in the world, ambition. Mars is ambitious. Mar well, you can translate it as ambitious, but really it's the forward drive. You're having a drive. You're a driven person. You don't have to be motivated by anything. You're a self-motivated kind of a guy, okay, or a woman. So public image, authority figures. Authority is something more of Saturn related, but Mars will help in the power, in the ambition factor. 
because it wants to pass through freely without any obstruction. If Mars is allowed to pass through without ex- any obstructive kind of energy or other planets playing out opposition to Mars, then person will be pretty much having a smoother ride. Yeah. So that's the Mars energy. Tomorrow we shall talk about Venus. In the meantime, take care, be safe.